Hey there, A-Bird Freedom Fam and the YouTube family. Let's put it that way. So everybody that's going to see this video, whether it's two people or two billion people, who knows? Um, so I'm Art with A-Bird Freedom Support here in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. And I've done a bunch of research um, watching some YouTube videos from such as Colian Noir and other parody videos and everything else as well as some serious videos that always talk about the gripes and the complaints and the issues that people have with people. So today's video is going to be on the gun shop relationship or better yet what's happened to it. Where did it go? Um, so first of all I've seen the videos where everybody talks about the customers they don't like, the customer that comes in and flags everybody, the customer that comes in and brags, the customer that comes in and eats up all your time. But this isn't a bitch and gripe session, so that is the end of all complaining in this video. Let's spin this around and let's make it different. So for me, I'm a one-man operation. I like to run my small firearm shop like an old-school barber shop. You can legitimately come in here and you can sit in one of the two stools that are off camera like I've said in a couple other videos. You can grab an ice cold Jocko Go or whatever you want or bring your own with you doesn't matter maybe you just want to come in you want to look at some firearms maybe ask some questions that's great so yes I have a Glock 21 in front of me yes we're in a firearm shop the firearm is not the priority of this video so some of the things that I like to do and hopefully uh, more people will chime in in the comments with either they like these things or they don't like these things um, I like to get as much customer feedback as I can, both in the comments, both in person too. I have quite a few customers that will come in and maybe they've seen a video but they don't comment it online. That's great. That's fine. I enjoy the feedback. So one of the biggest things I like to do is when you walk in my shop, even if I'm busy helping somebody else, I will at least look at you and try to look you in the eyes. And even if I'm in the middle of something, I will try to let you know that I have seen that you have decided to come in. Um, I like that recognition. Too often you go into too many establishments and that's not there. So that's one thing I like to do. Second thing is, is I'll engage as fast as possible and usually be something like, hey, how's it going? What are you up to? You just stop bumping around, sightseeing. Is there something in particular you might be looking for? Now this is where the coin kind of flips back and forth because customers don't really have a reaction to that because I think um, a lot of people with their experiences feel that maybe that's new and they don't know how to react to it. And then when somebody's looking at stuff, I like to just casually engage with them because remember I keep mentioning customer feedback so I'll ask you questions such as, hey, so what do you have right now that you like to shoot the most? And it's not like I'm trying to sell you another one of those pistols. I'm just trying to engage with you and open a dialogue between the two of us just on the off chance that maybe you have some questions about something and I might be able to help you or just to open that dialogue take the defenses down with the oh my god this salesman's trying to sell me something no um, firearms are actually they, they sell themselves for the most part we're just here to facilitate information exchange so I'll talk to you about that maybe I might ask you out of all your firearms that you have right now if you could only grab one and go to the range you only have 10 seconds to grab it. What firearm that you own currently are you going to grab and go to the range with? And I might even ask you why. So we're just building that kind of rapport. And I do like it when customers engage me with the same thing. Oh, okay. So I told you that I like the CZP10C. Oh, great. Well, I also like the P10C. But if it was going to be a grab and go to the range and I can only take one, I'm probably going to take my Kimber 1911. Yes, the Kimber 1911. It's an older model. It's a rescue. Um, basically, it was abandoned, and I retrieved it and rehomed it and got her all of her shots and got her groomed, and I like it. So maybe we might be able to have that oddball conversation between somebody who has a handful of Glocks and then me with my 1911s. And we might be able to actually cordially find middle ground. But so the premise of this video is the whole gun shop relationship. 
Um, I do like to go shoot with my customers on days when I'm available and I know they're going to be at the range. I like that out of the shop interaction. I like to see my customers also enjoying their purchases. That's also why I go to the local Lake Havasu City Steel Match when I can. Not just so much to see firearms that I've sold because actually nobody shooting matches have bought something from me where I've been there where they've shot it in another match. But I do like to watch the young people coming up learning firearm safety as well as getting the interaction, getting the likes and the don't likes. So, like I said, there's too many, too many people putting up the negatives. Um, I think we can take a lot of the stigma out of a firearms purchase in the firearm shop relationship it, just by being cordial. Nothing more. An elevator conversation. That's it. Um, that's, all, that's all I got for Why Wednesday. Why not just be open to interact with somebody? Nobody can force you to reach in your wallet and pull out money. And nobody can force me to sell you a firearm. So let's just meet in the middle, be cordial, have a conversation, learn from each other, have a good smooth transaction, and hopefully many more in the future. Who knows? You might even make a friend in your local gun shop. You never know. So for this Why Wednesday, the premise is the positive firearm shop experience. That's all I got for everybody. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe if you want to. If you don't, that's fine. Um, I do read and reply to the comments. So that's all I got. Everybody stay safe.